Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolo Tech, and this is going to be an instructional video on how to back up your iPhone. And the reason is, is you may be updating to iPhone 5, or maybe upgrading from another iPhone to an iPhone 4, 4S. Either way, this should help you back up your old phone and move it over to the new phone. There's two ways to do that. One is through iTunes. That's pretty straightforward. On Windows or Mac, plug in your iPhone and back up. It will sync everything and keep everything on there and you want to make sure that you're syncing your photos as well those options are in itunes for those of you that are using icloud though it's a little bit different what you want to do is go to settings so locate your settings button open settings scroll down until you find icloud once under icloud you have a bunch of different options for syncing but what you want to do is scroll down until you find storage and backup here it shows the available storage. I actually have 25 gigabytes grandfathered in from MobileMe that I'll have to pay for later on if I decide to keep that. They will give you 5 gigabytes free. What you want to do is make sure that iCloud Backup is turned on. Once it's on, scroll down and you can back up now. It generally backs up every night if you have it on already. And what you want to do is back up. So I'll back up now. It says I backed up at 2.02 a.m. yesterday. It will estimate the time remaining, and then I can go on and use the rest of the phone. Once this is backed up, that's pretty much all I have to do. But you do want to make sure that on this main screen here for iCloud, that if you have photos you want to save through iCloud, that you have PhotoStream on. If you go to PhotoStream, you have the option to turn it on or off. It's off by default. You also have documents and data. You can sync all of this. I choose to sync it all. You can sync all or none. It's up to you. You can see here's the backup backing up now. Once it's backed up with less than one minute remaining here, all you need to do is use your phone until you get the new one. Make sure it's backed up. Once you get your new iPhone, it will ask you if you want to set up using it as a new phone or if you want to use a backup from iCloud. Select set up iCloud backup, put in your username and password, and that's really all there is to it. Now it does take 30 minutes to an hour to totally back everything up but once it's backed up all of your icons will be right back where they were all of your documents all of your saved games everything will be right where it was uh, in any case that i've ever done it that's really all there is to it now the final thing you'll want to do is wipe your phone when you get rid of it in order to do that you want to go to general under settings down to reset and then erase all content and settings erase iPhone it will ask you again just to be sure and then it will reboot your phone and when it comes up it'll be as though it was a new phone now again you'll want to make sure that your photos are backed up I actually don't just back them up here I back them up on my computer as well so that means either using iPhoto or another photo application on your computer if you have Windows you can browse the photos and grab those as well but make sure you have them. Here you can see it just finished my backup, and that's really all there is to it. So if you have any questions or any concerns regarding that, please feel free to place those in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed yet to this channel, please subscribe. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.